Hi guys, Christian here from the MCI Trading Academy, bringing you another stock market analysis for the week ahead. Now, I just wanted to start off with um, what we discussed last week in our analysis versus what actually happened on the stock market, okay, because there were some very sneaky moves uh, last week that were done, and let's just go through them. So, first of all, let's go and discuss, uh, let's see what happened in terms of CPI data. So, we discussed that uh, we had a big announcement uh, that was coming, and we discussed that if the announcement was to be higher than expected, if the CPI data was to be higher than expected, we're most probably going to see a crash, or a crash, a sell-off in the stock market. Uh, why? Because that's pretty much what happened the last three uh, times we got a higher than expected CPI data. Now, we've also discussed, uh, I've also showed you this chart here, which basically said that asset managers had record short positions ever, okay, going into the CPI data. Uh, why? Most probably to cover themselves up, uh, to have some cover in, in case the CPI data was uh, worse than expected, which it actually was. Now, let's just go and see what actually happened in the stock market. So, if we look at the, uh, the S&P 500 here, and we go down to a lower time frame okay we can uh, see a couple of things so first of all uh we mentioned about the expected moves and we discussed how the upper expected move was at 3981 and the lower expected move was at 3791 and we know okay from our course that 68 percent of the times the uh price will close within the expected move. Now, what actually happened last week, okay, is because there were so many, there were so many people short, okay, there were so many people having short positions, the stock market just couldn't go down, despite the CPI data being higher than expected. So what have they actually done last week, which is very, very sneaky. Guys. So what they actually done, they achieved maximum pain from options traders, okay, every single day, okay, which is not very common, but, you know, sometimes sometimes they do that, okay, just to uh, basically take everyone out. So what happened last week is that we went down and we, we went down below the lower expected move. and took some liquidity from down here. We actually had the candlestick that closed below this support level, which we discussed that was a key support level. They cleared some liquidity from here, and straight after that, they went up higher and closed the week above, oh, sorry, above, closed the week within the expected move. Now, guys, we mentioned in our course, and, we, and I emphasize this every single day, okay? So at any point we go, below the lower expected move, okay, you should never go ahead and short. It doesn't matter how good it looks, okay, you should not go ahead and short. Why? Because it's very, very risky. So I hope, I really hope that you guys didn't open short positions when you saw this, this candlestick um, closing below the support. Why? Because the risk to reward is not worth doing that guys okay we are below quite far away from the lower expected move so at this point okay you shouldn't do anything okay you shouldn't do anything if there's any good opportunities perhaps you can buy okay there's a good the risk to reward is in your favor if you wanted to buy here but don't go ahead and place sell positions okay going when price has gone way below the lower expected move now in terms of maximum pain the maximum pain going into uh friday okay it was at 3860 now when did we actually close the week we closed the week at three yeah. close the week just like 15 minute time frame and just series so we closed the week at 3863 so quite close very very close to uh, maximum pain okay so they achieved pretty much maximum pain for uh, options traders last week. 
okay very very sneaky from wall street guys if you're not familiar with uh, options trading or you want to learn more about uh, options trading expected moves and maximum pain please do inquire about our mentorship courses either through a comment below the video here or on our instagram page we provide one-to-one -one mentorship courses and options trading is a big part of the course guys uh, if you want to become a profitable trader uh, options trading is a crucial uh, part of it carrying on guys um let's let's look at us 100 so last week we did this we did mention okay that we broke we broken through this trend line on a daily time frame and in our analysis last week i did discuss how was i was expecting because we were we were starting to see some divergences that were occurring here and i was expecting uh, a pullback most preferably to test the trend line that was broken and that is exactly what happened we nailed this analysis to the dot okay look at this we've broken the trend line came back to test it perfectly okay perfectly uh, last week and now we're going higher what did price do price went exactly went perfectly into the four hour ic bounced it off from here and then started going higher in terms of the dax the germany 40 okay we did discuss how uh, we had a break of structure and we are looking for buy positions we did mention okay we did mention in our analysis that i was expecting price similar to the us 100 price to go lower at the beginning of the week which is exactly what happened price went down lower into this two hour ic and then started going up higher and it's just about to make a new higher high here so price played out perfectly as we anticipated guys great analysis so if you haven't watched last week's video make sure you go and check it out because we nailed the analysis in terms of what we should be looking out for the week ahead well we are just entering earnings season guys and we have some very important companies reporting their earnings this week so last week we've had uh, morgan stanley uh, announce the results on thursday which were very disappointing and we had citibank uh, reported on friday which were very very good now in terms of this week we have bank of america and goldman sachs reporting before the uh, bell on monday so watch out for this then we have netflix very very important to see the uh, the results on tuesday after the close so remember guys last quarter netflix missed on the results and missed on their full guidance so uh and their share price took a beating last quarter so very crucial to see what they are doing differently what they've done differently this quarter and and what is the full guidance so make sure you watch out for that because uh last quarter if you checked netflix price it took a beating okay right after they announced the results it tanked he went he dropped crazy okay so make sure you watch out for that and then on wednesday we have tesla okay now tesla last quarter uh the results were really really good but the share price went down so interesting to see what happens this quarter whether they keep they can keep up the good results and whether their share price can improve because last quarter uh as, as we mentioned it took a beating as well okay so watch out for this this week there's no other uh news releases this week so just those just earnings this week if earnings disappoint uh the stock market will not be able to go higher if earnings are good and for guidance is good perhaps we can start to see uh some relief rally on the stock market now let's see what we can see on the chart so if we look at the us 500 for the week ahead okay so how did we actually close the week we did close the week as we mentioned within the expected moves but 
more than that, we closed uh, the week as a hammer. Now, what we can see here, okay, is that we are in a big consolidation here on a daily time frame. Okay, so price is just going sideways. We are about to break this trend line here, this this downtrend here, but overall we are in a big consolidation. So what I'll be looking out for this week. Now we have the upper expected move, okay, at 3950, the lower expected move at 3775. So uh watch out for that okay now watch out for a move in either direction okay for a break of this consolidation whether up or down now just be careful okay if you see a candlestick that closes above this this resistance line and the trend line look out for follow through guys so look out for another candlestick that will follow through okay so if you see a green candlestick here then look out for another green candlestick to follow through on that move if you don't see that okay don't enter any positions okay especially uh if you see a, a break of this trend line okay and the resistance above here why because we are at the upward expected move okay so it's very risky to go in and uh, to go long uh, if price goes uh, outside the expected, the upper expected move. So be very careful. And if you see a close below this uh, this support line here, then most likely we'll see the price going down. So it's all about it's all about earnings. If earnings disappoint, then most likely price will go down. If earnings uh, are positive, then most likely we may see a break of this okay now we're getting some resistance from the 50 EMA here so maybe the upside is limited but if you see an impulsive break up that will close above the upper expected move and uh, above the uh, 50 EMA perhaps we'll see some more follow through the week the following week in terms of the US 100 we are seeing the same thing. However, one thing that we are seeing that we are not seeing on other indices is that we are just about to get a buy signal here on the weekly, which should provide some upside momentum if we if the uh, buy signal gets validated. So what we were looking for here again, we are in a range, we are in a big consolidation here on a daily time frame. And what we'll be looking for, we'll be looking for a break above or below the uh, consolidation. Okay, so above, super above resistance, below support. If we do see that, uh, then perhaps we can move higher. Now, again, guys, where where do we expect to move higher? Well, to about this I see here on the two-hour time, on the four-hour time frame. Uh, and that's pretty much what I expect to see some consolidation and then a big sell off. Okay. For two new lower lows. Why? Because overall we are still in a downtrend. So what, what can happen this week is that price will go up, clear some of this liquidity resting above here, come into this IC, consolidate, and then perhaps we'll start seeing some, uh, sell off. Okay. Going in the end of the month and going into august so watch out for that in terms of the dax is we're seeing pretty much the same thing here as well so we've broken we've broken finally okay this trend line here on the eight hours now what i'm looking out for this week is that look for price to either come into this IC, okay, consolidate and go down and retest the trend line, this trend line that it broke on the eight hours, or watch out for an impulsive move up into this four hour IC here, okay, because if price comes in here, I would expect to see some weakness and perhaps for sellers to come in the market. Why? Because we have on the one week time frame, we've got this trend line here which was broken and the four hour IC that we just mentioned is coming to retest the broken trend line on the weekly so um, we can expect to see something like this so it's broken the trend line comes back here to retest 
uh, right into this our for our IC and then we will make a new lower low after that so uh, yeah something definitely watch out for this week next we get US 30 on here it's pretty much exactly the same thing a big consolidation uh, seeing here on a daily and we are just looking for a break above or below uh, the, below the below support above resistance uh, and if we, if, if we see that uh, then where can we expect the price if we see a break above the resistance where can we expect to see price go to where well, to either one of those two ICs okay where well, we expect price to consolidate uh, fill some of this IPA IP here as well and then perhaps uh, can get the short positions going into uh, end of July beginning of August so very crucial to watch out for that also watch out for stop loss hands because you can see that this happened already here it cleared out the liquidity from here now they can be very sneaky and clear some liquidity from here and then come back and perhaps finish the week within a range as well so that is also a possibility guys so be very careful okay there's very Wall Street are being very sneaky nowadays okay now very very important is to watch the dollar okay so we mentioned last week that we were seeing some divergences occurring on the weekly time frame on the dollar now just to point out guys remember if the dollar keeps being strong okay the stock market cannot move up so if we are start if we start to see some weakness in the US dollar that will provide some support uh, for the stock market to rally so watch out for that now in terms of the uh, the US dollar okay we started seeing some consolidation here and we are getting some weakness now okay we're getting we will have support here at the 20 EMA and the 50 EMA so watch out for that because if price comes if we start seeing something like this where price comes in here uh, and then buyers come in then we may get to see that okay so where price bounces from the 20 EMA and goes and makes a new higher high so that is you know that is one of the possibility if we see uh, the 20 EMA being broken we see a candlestick close below then watch out for the 50 EMA as another support and if we do see uh, a bounce from here then perhaps we may see uh, higher highs and if at any point we see a break below this point here okay then at that point we have a shift in the structure we have a break of structure and then uh, we'll be looking for lower lows uh, to be forming lower lows and lower highs and we're looking for a downtrend and at that point we can say that's it we may have a bottom in the stock market and then we can move higher okay but until that uh, we are still looking for lower lows in the stock market guys okay so monitor the dollar this week very very important now lastly uh let's talk about gold so gold is again is consolidating okay within our ic here and what i'm looking for for the week if we start seeing some weakness in the us dollar then i'll be looking for gold to come up and come up into this four hour ic here okay so if we manage to we'll be, be clearing some liquidity from here filling some ipas here uh, and come into this ic where i expect price to consolidate and perhaps at that point we can get some shorts going in to the end of the month and august as well now august tends to be a very positive month for gold okay but with everything going on at the moment let's just monitor the price and see what happens okay so we may be able to see price going in into this four hour i see okay Sl slowly grinding up okay during the month of, of august here and then perhaps at the end of the month we can get a short position if we do go up and close above this trend line perhaps we can be back bullish on gold and bearish on the us dollar okay but that's just something to watch out for that's it from me this week guys thank you very much for watching uh please like and subscribe and please help spread the word so share this with anyone that may find this useful 
also please uh, follow us on instagram and if you new to trading or want to learn more about trading uh, make sure you do inquire about our mentorship courses thank you very much guys and catch you up next week bye for now